Hey everyone, this is Brian Funk, Ableton Certified Trainer and host of the Music Production Podcast. One device I'm very excited about in Ableton Live 11 is Hybrid Reverb. It allows you to combine convolution reverb and algorithmic reverb. Today I want to talk about the convolution reverb and how you can use your own sounds to make your own custom and experimental reverb sounds. So I've got a drum track loaded, going through Hybrid Reverb. Let's turn off Hybrid Reverb for a second. There's my drums from my VHS Drums Ableton Live Pack. We're gonna turn on the hybrid verb, and we're gonna just focus on the convolution section right here. And this allows us to pick different sounds that we can use for our reverb. And we get these real life kind of sounds to our reverbs, but we can add our own sounds in here. I've got a folder full of some of my own IRs or impulse responses that I've made. And right here is one from my school bathroom. It's actually the toilet seat closing in this giant tiled bathroom. It makes this crazy sound with a cool reverb. I can just drag this recording right into hybrid reverb. And now my drums will sound like they are in that bathroom. Just like that, it's very simple. And you can use all kinds of sounds. I actually even have just a snare drum here. It's a snare I made with some gated reverb to sound kind of 80s-ish. I'm gonna put it in here. And it sounds pretty cool. I wanna also show you, um, Diego Stacco has his rhythmic convolutions, which are a bunch of experimental sounds. I'm gonna put a link for you to check it out. It's, it's so cool. Um, they're meant for experimental abuse of convolution reverbs. So we can take, we'll take that sound, this calculator sound, and listen to what it does to our drums. And since we've dropped this in our hybrid reverb, we can just scroll through the different sounds in this folder. <laughs> We don't have to even go to our browser. We can just do it all right down here. It's so cool. Um, you really got to check out Diego Stacco's work and sound design and his convolution. Rhythmic convolutions are just so fun. You can put any kind of sound you want in here. I thought we might just have a little fun, and I'll just make some weird noises with my mouth here and see what we get. <laughs> now that's a ridiculous sound, but let's see what it sounds like as a reverb. <laughs> totally crazy. Maybe I'll make one more here. I'll try to imitate a reverb type sound. It helps if you trim these a little, so I'm just gonna crop this sample. And then we can drop it into our hybrid reverb. If I drop that dry wet down a little bit. Sounds kind of like a reverb now. You can put any kind of sound in here, as evidenced by Diego Stacco's work. Um, I've got my sound that I want to share with you. I'm going to use this school bathroom sound and make a rack for you that you can download for free so you can have the sound of the bathroom at my school as your reverb. Put them on any sound you want. Have fun. Experiment with it. And enjoy. Enjoy.